Good morning students. Welcome back to Digital Electronic class. In today's class we are going to continue the second unit concepts in that we are left with demultiplexer, encoder, decoder. This part we are going to complete in two classes and we are going to finish the unit two. So in today's class we are going to discuss the concept of demultiplexer. So basically what is a demultiplexer? So demultiplexer is also a type of combinational logic circuit in which the whatever the operation we have learned for multiplexer it's quite opposite to demultiplexer that means it has a single inputs it has multiple outputs so how do we design this multiplexer so we only had the block diagram and in the exam also they'll ask to only explain the demultiplexer with block diagram so because of that only we are learning about its block diagram how it is differ from multiplexer that point we are going to cover in today's class so we are going to see how the demultiplexer designing would be there so we are taking one particular block in it so demultiplexer we want to design or demultiplexer one more name is dmux so in dmux what is there it has single input so input is single so i0 if you are assuming then output combination how the output combination would be there 1 into n order so what is this n indicates that indicates number of outputs till o n so starting from o 0 o 1 o 2 so on till o n so this is what actually this is your output end so how do we get this thing so to get these things the input whatever the select inputs is there, that depends upon this n factor how do we write n it's nothing but 2 power n formula so this is nothing but select inputs or by using the enable so by using enable or we can say it is a select input so depends upon that n factor it is going to decide so it's going to decide how many number of select inputs you're going to take by looking into its n factor so based upon this thing we can design the demultiplexer so in demultiplexer what are the things we need to see we need to see the operation of it how it is going to work so it's just quite the same as a decoder so our next topic is decoder how the decoder is going to be used so basically demultiplexer is nothing but the name of demultiplexer is what one more name for that would be dmux in which we are going to use a single inputs and we're going to get the n number of outputs so by taking the single input combination how this one this can be going to convert into it that part is done by the demultiplexer it's quite a reverse for the multiplexer the next thing depends upon these particular i naught we are going to get this output so based upon this n we are going to decide the select inputs or by using into its enable input so based upon that this demultiplexer is going to operate so next steps the next point what we are going to learn is decoder so the next point what we do have is decoder how the decoder is going to work so decoder so what is the decoder decoder is, is also a combinational logic circuit in which you are going to decode your information so what is the meaning of decoding so decoding in the sense you want to make your information in with more security that means whatever the information i just want to pass to a sender that information only understood by the receiver in between that what i need to do it i need to encrypt i need to decrypt so that means encryption description is done by a specific device in electronics so that device when you want to understand it that can be done a part of it by the decoder so decoder what they'll do it they'll try to convert the number of lines into a respective number of output lines means it can convert n to m line decoding so what is this n indicates n indicates the input line m indicates the output line that means if you do have decoder of 3 to 8 line what is the meaning of 3 to 8 line it has 3 inputs and it has 8 outputs so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so why i'm assuming only 3 to 8 line because the inputs of mine in n order the output of mine should be in 2 power n order so if i do have three input lines it can going to convert into eight output line that is nothing but whatever the combination of inputs is there based upon this combination i am going to design eight number of output line so that is nothing but you can see here it is similar to this only but here you had single input you are getting multiple output and do you have multiplexer select inputs also so in this also we are using demultiplexer select inputs whereas in decoder encoder we don't have any concept of select inputs 
that depends upon number of input lines it should be in n then the output line should be in 2 power n form so this that that indicates means what if you had n number of input lines we can get m number of output lines that means it is going to convert n to m line decoder so first thing we have understood what is the meaning of decoding so decoder is also one of the type of combination logic circuit in which is tried to convert n number of input line into 2 power n number of output lines so it is also type of combination circuit whereas in this we are not going to use any particular select inputs so this is how the decoder is going to work the next criteria of us would be how do we design it first thing we did with the block diagram next part we are going to draw its particular truth table so that means we just want to write we just want to take an example of different inputs how do we going to get it by taking the 2 power n number of outputs that particular thing we are going to design now so first thing what we did we'd make a block diagram next thing we just want to make it truth table next we are going to design by using the logic gates that nothing but by using the basic gates we are going to design so that the, that thing we are going to do it now here so what we are going to do now so we are going to take input combination so tell me a student so if i am using i am taking an example suppose take an example so example of 3 to 8 line decoder this is my example okay what i am doing i just want to take three inputs i just want to make eight output line so how do i design it so that means i need to see its particular two table so in order to get that particular two table i'll take a tabular form so i just want to take the tabular form a tabular form of that particular inputs so in that what i am doing i am assuming first thing block of it so how many blocks is there so i just want to design 3 to 8 line decoder so in this i want to define three inputs so i am defining my first input is x y and z and the decoding sequence so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so suppose this is decoder d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 right so now i want to make it two tables do we had any select input for this no for decoder and for encoder there is no select input is there so only we do have input and we do have the output if it is decoder you had n number of input lines and the output is 2 power n for encoder it is reverse that we also we were going to see so now first we'll make the block diagram next thing we just want to write the truth table so we will make the truth table as per the given values so first thing what we are doing we are taking the inputs so we do have how many inputs students so we do have three inputs the three inputs we wrote it what is the inputs names x y and z so what are the input combination we can write so we first would be 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 1 like likewise 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 and then 1 1 and 1 so these are our input combinations so now tell me what are the outputs we do have we had starting from d0 to d7 that means the lower bit of that d0 we are can start from this d0 to d7 so by using this d0 to d7 we can design that value so for doing these things what we'll do it we'll write the output so this is what actually this is our output end and this is our what actually this is our input so first thing i'll write down those values so i do have d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so this is my combination of all the output values so what we did students so i just took all those values now next thing i need to write the combination of it what is the combinations combination of inputs by taking the input combination how do we design the outputs for that what i am doing i just want to write so see here first this is what is that 0 0 0 means its mean term m0 that means d0 should be high remaining all needs to be low that means it will decode the 
d0 even the b, if you had input combination of all zeros then this particular d0 is going to be activated or it's going to be get as a logic high so it's going to work for it if it is 0 0 0 if you're getting 0 0 1 that is nothing but mean term m1 so what is the value for it 0 1 all 0 so that means you want to get the output for d1 decoding line d1 so d1 decoder is going to work so next thing if it is 1 so 0 1 0 means what is the value mean term m2 for m2 d2 needs to be high remaining all needs to be 0 likewise for 3 d3 should be high remaining all will be 0 likewise for d4 I'll make it d4 should be high remaining all needs to be active low so likewise I can for I can go for this so here d5 should be high and remaining all will be 0 in this situation I can go with d6 needs to be high and remaining bits of that particular will be low likewise I can go for d7 so I got this that means your three inputs of that three inputs lines has been decoded into eight eight output lines by using threes to eight line decoder so likewise you can design four is two is to four line decoder also in that what we'll take it we'll take two inputs we'll take four outputs and we will design it so this is the way we will first write tabular form of it next we will write two table what is left out then logic design so we need to go for by using basic logic gates we need to design this particular logic so let us see that one so before that you note you note down this thing then i'll show you how do we design by using logic gates so by using the basic logic gates not gate and and gate we will design this particular total truth table combination Okay, so now see students, so what are the inputs value I do have? I had inputs values are 3. So what are those 3? First is x. Then if you want to get not gate, then let's make it as x bar. Similarly, second inputs I do have y. And if I'll connect one more not gate, I'll get y bar. So this is my two inputs. Similarly, I can go with the next part. I do have z and z bar. This is your y, y bar, x, x bar, z and z bar. So now I want to get the d0. So for d0 what I need to go for it? I will take one AND gate and connection needs to be x bar, y bar and z bar. So I will give first input connection from x bar, next is y bar and z bar. Like this I will produce output of d0. Likewise I can go for all the remaining outputs. So these number of gates we need to get it so that all and gates i'm connecting so 1 2 3 d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so these number of input is required to design this thing next i need to get for d1 next is d2 likewise d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so we wrote it all the values so how do we get d1 so d1 x bar y bar and z so i can go with x bar y bar and z similarly for d2 x bar y and z bar so x bar is here x bar y and z bar for d3 x bar y z so x bar is here x bar this is your y and that is your z right so we did d3 d4 is what x y bar and z bar so i can go with x x y bar is this thing and z bar so we gave the connection so likewise i can go for d5 so for d5 1 0 1 that means x y bar and z so x y bar we do have here and we do have z here so we connected x y bar and z now x y z bar so we go with x 
y and z bar so we connected this particular part now for our remaining part x y z so we'll go with x we go with y and we go with z so this is the way we perform 8 3 is to 8 line decoder so in exam they'll ask you to design this thing there is no numerical for it we can take it the values for it as per the given thing so we are taking this one we do, did with block diagram truth table then logic gates gate level designing this is the way our 3 is to 8 line decoder is going to work so we finished one thing that is 3 is to 8 line decoder the next we will see how the next part encoder is going to work and it is true table and then logic diagrams for encoder also so before that you noted down this particular part So before that students will do one more problem the question they can give you construct so construct 4 is to 16 line decoder using 3 is to 8 line decoder so in that what we need to do it so the question is we need to construct 4 is to 16 line decoder by using 3 is to 8 line decoder for doing this thing what I'll do it I'll first try to write down what is a 4 is to 16 line decoder consist of so what what it consist of it consist of four inputs suppose i'm giving like this four inputs w x y and z so that is 4 into 16 line decoder so now what about the output values output values vary from d0 d1 d2 so on what is the last value d15 right this is that 4 is to 16 line decoder so now the same thing they asked to design by using 3 is to 8 line decoder that means we need to segregate into two parts so how do we do it so what i'm doing i'm taking first i'm making into two parts right in the previous class also we have done to design multiplexer they gave different values so that the concept we are considering here so what i'm doing i'm taking two values so first i'm taking 3 is to 8 line decoder the next i'm taking next part of it next 3 into 8 line decoder for the second one right so what are the values of inputs i am making w w as my separate one because when i want to write the truth table of four inputs what i'll get students so if, if you have w x y z so w always sometime for eight times it will be zero for remaining it will be one 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 right remaining combinations last will be 111 one. that means for starting these all i'll write w bar for remaining this all i'll write w right so for that what i'll do it i'll give three inputs for this x y z right here also i'll give x y z three inputs the same thing x y z x y z because three line right so what about this w then so this w i'll make separately i'll take one not gate for it so in that what i'll do it first i'll connect w with for second line decoder and this w i'll pass to this next part here so w and w bar is done right for the first starting part it's become w bar for remaining it will become w so again here is three inputs this is three inputs so w is what it is a separated one it just want to write it is depends upon w you are going to get the combination for the first one what are the combination you'll get you'll get from d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 so on till d7 so for the next one start from d8 d9 10 d11 d12 so on till d15 clear so what we did we have designed this particular 4 is to 8 line decoder by considering this w is separated that is called it as enable so this is going to enable suppose if it is 0 w is 0 that means upper 3 is to 8 line decoder is going to work if w is 1 that means lower 8 is a to 15 decoding line is going to operate so this is the way this 
8 is to 4 is to 16 line decoder is going to work for 3 is to 8 line and 3 is to 8 line decoder by giving w as enable so the name for that will be enable so is it clear so this thing we need to remember this is xyz is inputs so what is the as in the question it is 3 is to 8 that means this is 3 inputs for the upper one for downside also 3 so this is also 3 line or 3 input lines we can say so then we had 8 output here then remaining 8 total make it as 16 that is this is your complete output so by taking this thing we can design the given question into respective value so how do I decide this w that decided by its complete input 8 4 variable combination so we know this 4 variables right so this 4 variable means all zeros 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 like that till last is 1 1 1 for starting values from mean term m0 to mean term m7 it is w bar for mean term ma to mean term m15 it is w so by looking into this particular concept we have designed 3 is to 8 line decoder for upper half for the remaining half also we have designed 3 to 8 line decoder so in that if they ask in the exam draw, write the truth table this is the truth table we know it then this is the actual block diagram then this is the block diagram clear next thing if you want to go for this gate level designing if specifically they mention then design how do we design take x y z these all is as it is then what we need to go extra thing we need to give one particular z also in not z w so w n1 not gate this is for w bar so w and w bar will give it for w bar we all give this particular connections to first one so w bar w bar here for all we will give w bar so for all the combinations till d7 all are connected by from starting to its w bar remaining from d8 d8 to d15 will connect for w this is only right so by taking this kind of combination we can done with its block diagram its actual implementation then truth table then logic diagram so this is the way you can proceed these kind of question if they ask to solve 4 is to 16 line decoder by using 3 is to 8 line decoder so try this question students so try it and uh, mail, mail it to this particular thing which I gave the mail id in the description that one you just proceed with this thing and any query if you do have you can post your query in the comment box or you can ask me and you can mail me so this is about the demultiplexer and decoder in the next class we are going to complete encoder and some more two to three problems will do it we will complete the unit two thank you that's it about the today's class